This is Matthew with Another World Terraria, where I teach and inspire you on the topics of rare plants and artistic nature displays. In this video, I'm going to do an unboxing of a bunch of rare filmy ferns. At the end, I'll show you a 10-month update on the plants in their bioactive grow bins. Since not many people know what filmy ferns are or much about them, before I start the unboxing, I'm going to give you a 60 second lesson about these amazing plants. If you'd like to skip ahead to the unboxing, it starts at about the minute and a half mark. Filmy ferns occupy a number of genera, including, but not limited to, Hymenophyllum, Trichomanes, and Crepidomanes. You might be wondering what filmy ferns are exactly. The reason they're called filmy ferns is because they have extremely thin leaf tissue, sometimes only one cell thick, giving them a translucent appearance. Since the foliage is so thin, it dries out very quickly, and therefore these plants require extremely humid and wet conditions, or else they will desiccate and sustain tissue damage. That said, some species are adapted to poicola hydri, which means that they can dry out for a period of time in which they shrivel up, and then upon being exposed to moisture, they can rehydrate unfold their fronds and continue to grow. As you might expect, filmy fern's natural environment is very wet, often in cloud forest and fog prone locations, rainforest with significant precipitation, and areas with dripping and splashing water such as waterfalls and seepages on cliffs. I bought all these filmy ferns from a friend who was moving out of the country. He was in a hurry to offload all of his plants and he offered them to me at the last minute for a great price. I feel really lucky to have received all of these amazing and rare plants. Super nice filmy ferns. What a clump. It's got some really nice little liverworts mixed in there. Plagiochyla, stuff like that. This is probably a Trichomani species of filmy fern. That's killer. Obviously I'll just trim off all these dead fronds, but there's some really nice healthy stuff in here. Just need some TLC and it will be good to go. By the way, I recently updated my comprehensive article on my website all about filmy ferns and how to grow them. Check that out if you're interested in learning more. Here's a branch straight out of that terrarium. Wow, it's got the filmy ferns and stuff grew right onto it. It's all attached. This one is just amazing right here. The fronds on that are incredible. It's a bunch of different species all mixed in here. Some really cool liverworts. There's some uh, Syningia muscicola. It's a little Jesneriad. Got some little plants there. So there's some kind of small fern right there. Some other plant. Some seedling or something here so I'll try and grow that out. Lots of cool moss. There's some Octoblepherum moss. It's the one that looks like a little grass. It's so small you probably can't even see it in the video but some beautiful filmy ferns. Lots and lots of filmy ferns right here. Beautiful look at how feathery this species is. I really like how long and thin these are but this right here is a Biophytum I don't know exactly which species because there are quite a few, but it could be Sucupii, I don't know. But here's just tons and tons of filmy ferns. There's a bunch of different ones mixed together. This is one of the ones that I saw in the photo he sent that I was most excited about. How unbelievable is that? Look at that frond. Wow. That's amazing. These are just incredible. Here we go. Here's another branch with a whole bunch of stuff all over it and it looks really, really cool. And I'll bring it all up to you so you can see it. By the way, I've got lots of other unboxing videos so you can check those out. Some really cool ferns on here. Filmy fern. More filmy ferns here. So all similar species growing on the branch there. Let's see. So this right here is not a filmy fern. This is just some type of other fern, most likely an asplenium. Most likely a tropical asplenium. I recognize it. In fact, I think I have that one or something very similar from Ecuador. And there's some... Um, 
things are falling. Some really cool moss right here. Might be Necora or Necoropsis or something like that. And look at this. Whoa, look at that. That is a uh, Selaginella. That is like the smallest Selaginella ever. That thing is ridiculous. I don't know if it just is like that because of the way it was grown or if it actually is just that small by, you know, naturally. We shall see. Some liverworts. This potentially right here looks like a Schistochyla, and this is a Plagiochyla right here. After unboxing these plants, I set up some bioactive grow bins and configured them for optimal filmy fern growth. To learn more about my general process for making bioactive grow bins, check out my tutorial series. Now let's check out the filmy bins after 10 months of growth. Alright, let's open bin number one. I should mention that from both of the bins that I'm going to show you, I have removed some of the filmy ferns to use in other terrariums. So you aren't going to see the full amount of growth from the 10 months, although this is most of it. Uh, I didn't take a ton of filmy ferns out of here. Uh, they are very slow growing for the most part. Some species grow a bit faster, but in any case, I'll get some close-ups of some of the different clumps here. Got this long, graceful, finely divided one, which is one of my favorite filmy ferns. It's really nice. Then these guys over here, a little bit thicker fronds. And then you got this really unique one with interesting broad fronds. Uh, really cool, that one. And got a couple other different forms down in here. It's kind of hard to get in the bin. Apologize if this isn't perfect. And I do want to mention also that there is a lot of mold in here, which is really common when growing filmy ferns because of how wet and humid they need to be and you can't have a lot of airflow and ventilation or else they'll dry out. So I do mention that in my article on my website where it talks about mold and the causes and some things that you can do to handle that. If I ever have the bin open for more than a few seconds, I grab my distilled water and spray it. You gotta spray those guys with some distilled water to make sure that they stay hydrated. Because if you leave the bin open too long, they'll dry out. I flipped the bin around so we could get an angle of this Selaginella, which has grown up off the ground and is kind of attaching itself to the plastic. Uh, it's really doing good in here. You can tell it looks quite different from when I first unboxed it. It was thinner and didn't look as good. This has a much better form and uh, is really beautiful. Probably one of the nicest Selaginellas I have. And I do like that it is relatively small still. So you can tell it's pretty tiny. So that's a really nice one. All right, bin number two. Here's the wide view. Just kind of give you a sweeping view of everything. And then I'm gonna go in close for some details. So you can see you've got that Selaginella, which is going wild. It loves it in here. Really beautiful pattern and uh, super healthy, nice colors. It's growing up against the plastic there. And uh, there's some pieces of it going down into the ground and around there. You can see some down here. Got some nice filmy ferns. Got that finely divided one that I really like with the long fronds. Bunch of different species here. This is another one of my favorite ones with that broad foliage. Really unique, interesting. Let me flip the bin around here. Okay, other side of the bin. Got some more view of some things here. Some nice liverworts mixed in here with the filmy ferns and uh, some biophytum. And then these two plants with the long, thin leaves here, those are a species of begonia that popped up from seed. Uh, that was a really lucky volunteer. Those are begonia bogneri, which are pretty uncommon species. It's a nice little miniature. If you enjoyed this video, check out my unboxing video playlist and a variety of other terrarium and plant related videos on my channel.